Zero FXB, so I've got an old screen here. Used to use the TTL converter so I could connect it to my Pi via USB, but I fancy connecting it straight to the dual hat. Um, so I, I'll have more, I'll be able to put it into a clay, a, a clear acrylic case and it wouldn't have all these leads, you know, this big bulky connector. So I found some pins, as you can see here. There's our pins. And we're gonna solder it here. And I know it's hard to read, but on the far left, it says, let's just show you here. Um, the first one says five volt, then RX, TX, then ground. And the pins are going to solder there and then these pins here I'm trying to do this one-handed so <clears throat> these pins the colored ones here are going to go on to those pins then we'll select that in pi star settings to use those pins and we've got red is uh, 5 volts yellow and blue is txrx and then black is the ground. So let's let's go to the soldering station. Okay, we're here at the solder station. We've got a couple of things that we use for soldering here. But there's the pins in place. Obviously, we're going to go from underneath. And we've got a thing here to hold it in place. We've got some flux. Uh, let's do it. Let's turn it over. There you go. So we're going to drop some solder in here. We'll get put some flux on it first. Right, fluxed up, and that's the solder wire we've got just from the local shop, to be honest. So I don't know how good it is, but it seems, seems to work. We just use a sponge at the moment, but I need a solder pad. Okay, one done. We'll let it cool, and then that holds it all in place. Happy with that. I'm not going to show you me soldering because you'll laugh, but it is happening. Okay. Bit messy but we are soldered on we have pins to connect to let's go connect them and see what happens remember to turn the soldering iron off because I always leave that on okay pins are on so we've got to put the hat back onto the pie gonna go like that and the pins are gonna go on there then we're gonna configure pie star just a little tip, when you put these pins on, remember that the RX, so the blue and the yellow, are, are backwards. So see that here blue goes to TX. Hopefully they are, you can see that now. TX here, blue. That means the blue on this board, I know it's hard to see, goes to RX, which is the second one in. So there is that. It's hard to see, but it says RX, then TX. I'm trying to zoom it in, but you can just make it out. So the first one's 5 volts, RX, TX, ground. I'll put them on and then show you. Right, they're on there. Let's see, we're going to go to Pi Star in a sec, but you can see there, red, blue, yellow, black. So 5 volts, uh, TX or RX, TX or RX as well, and then ground and then sometimes to get this in the case look it sticks up you do have to bend them over so you can buy pins that are at a 90 angle you know have a curve or a bend already but I'll just be naughty and bend them over but anyway so the whole idea is that eventually it'll all go in a case acrylic case with the screen screwed to it and it'd be a nice neat little package uh, without this is the thing that sort of gets in the way is this TTL converter although these are really good um, See if I can zoom in on it. They are actually really good. Sorry, we're getting a glare here. If you just want to quickly connect your Nextian screen via USB and for programming, they work really well for programming as well, using Nextian Editor. It's a lot quicker. But anyway, let's get this on. Let's go to the Pi Star settings. Right, well, as soon as we've connected it, it's come on. We've just powered it here. It's come on. Now we need it to communicate. And that's why we, the, the leads have to be in the configuration that I've showed you. So we need to now tell it it's got a Nexion screen connected, not via USB, but via um, the pins. So 
Let's just do that. I'll show you the settings. So you can see that the, it's come to life already, but we're still not communicating. So what we do, we turn the DMR radio down, and then let's just zoom in here. See where it says next year and Devity USB. We need to change that to there you go to Nextian modem we've got we've just got that selected for now G4 KLX and then if you look at the screen here working great and then we've got two radios now receive it's a dual a dual hat sorry about moving around very, very cool. So it's working with the pins that are now on top of the case. Now I can put this in a case. That will be the next part of the video. If you want to see my config for my jaw hat, just quickly show you it here. DMR, jaw hat here, DMR number, frequencies. Uh, there's, uh, there's a working rate in one hour, because it's fantastic. You know, RXTX, okay. 439, 450, 44450. This is really important, hat. This is the one you need to select. <laughs> and obviously, Brandmeister and Self-Care Password here. This is so you receive two. And the for duplex, you want two dots there. And it's sounding really good. Okay, very good, Merrick. Well, Way too many radios here. So next thing is to put it all into a case and show you it finished. Okay, well to get the hat in, there was two plastic tabs pretty much sticking out here. So I just cut them away with a hacksaw. Um, so now it fits. So, uh, these are a bit loose, but little heat things. This just goes over the top now. Fits like so, doing this one-handed. Like so. There is a bottom plate for this, there's the SD card. So now we got to slide the jaw hat over these GPIO pins. So what we're finding now, the only thing that's stopping it is a, there's a couple of bits of plastic sticking out here and here. Quite hard to see in this camera. You can just about see them there. So I'm going to have to cut them away. Now a proper manufacturing company would laser all this off. So that's what we're going to do now is cut these little tabs sticking out away so that the hat Right, okay, so we cut them away and it now fits. So we have got a bottom cover somewhere for it. So the next thing is to get the pins on there, fire it up, and then we've got to work out how we're going to fix the screen. The top cover goes like this at the moment, but it looks like we're going to have to work out how to get the pin, the cable for the screen in there. I'll show you how we do that in a sec, when I do it. And then, because the antennas are going to be sticking out, the screen's going to have to go sort of like that. But that's fine, because then we'll still have quite a neat little package, and I'll try and tuck all the wires inside. It'll just be a neat little package on the side. Right, so we've got it all working, we've got... Red, blue, yellow, black. We've bent the pins over. So now the idea is, you can hear it in the background, that this is going to sit over there. We've cut the hole for the two antennas. There's the screen all working fine. So make sure you get it the right way around before you stick it down because you want the antenna at the top so that when you sit this up, it will stand upright and you'll be able to look at it. And I'll do that. I'll show you that when it's done. And these wires, you're going to have to sort of bend them into place, get them underneath the cover, so that it might slip off a couple of times, but that's what we're trying to do. All right, I think we got there. We still need to sort of fix it down properly. We're just using some uh, band for now. But look, it stands on its side. It's a dual hat. The power goes in from the top, so it will 
once I've secured it properly, it'll just sit like that in my shack. Um, I'll just show you it sitting in my shack. So there you go. Not brilliant focus, but you can see I've got it sat in my shack. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it better than that when it's finished. A couple of DMR radios receiving at the same time. So that's cool. We got my DV Genesis one there on C4 FM, made by DV Mega. This is a homemade one with a Raspberry Pi 3B next to the screen and a dual hat, and it's working absolutely incredibly well. So very pleased with that. Seven three. Enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe to my channel. All the best. Just need to fix it down nicer, but it's working. Power lead at the top, looking good. Just need to fix it down nicer, but it's working. Power lead at the top, looking good. Through FX B, so we've got a dual DMR hat here. I'm going to turn them on one at a time. So that is Hubnet, and then we'll turn the other one. So if you want to hear them both at the same time. And now one at a time. Let's talk group 91. Very, yeah, quite expensive. Let's turn hub, hub net back up. And these are coming from a dual hat. DMR. Yeah, that's right. Good, good to hear you again, mate. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I've been, I've been gallivanting, you know, doing the stuff on the, um, you know, that I do. DMR, dual hat. You can buy these hats for about £50. You need a Pi 3 or a Pi 0. And the next year screen. So <clears throat> you're looking at £100 to make one. So you're probably better off getting one from someone like DV Mega. Cost a bit more, but um, there's a lot of work involved. Um, but I just thought I'd show you my one, and uh, it's just pieced together as you can see from literally from bits that I had lying around Pi 3, next to the screen case. I just need to um, neaten it all up, but it's fully usable as is, uh, and, uh, and it sits in the shack quite nicely with the other hotspots. 7 3.